Dr. Nadal, what does precision genomics mean to you as a physician? You know, precision medicine, I think, really means hope. Th that's what precision medicine is all about. It's hope for patients. It's hope for patients' families. And I think it's hope for us as physicians. Uh, precision medicine is a way to feel like you're turning over all the stones. It's a way to feel like uh, we're investigating all of the options. Uh, it's a way to feel like we are implementing uh, the most cutting edge um, technologies available uh, to help our patients uh, live uh, as long as they can on their own terms um, with few side effects. To me, precision medicine represents um, the humanitarian side of medicine. It's a way that it's really the art of medicine. It's the way that we can help patients and families and doctors uh, retain that hope, which is what you need when you're fighting cancer. You've got to have hope. Have you had a specific patient that really drives your career and wanting to move precision, precision medicine forward? I have so many. <laughs> and, and I think every patient that I meet is just another reminder of uh, the progress that we've got we've to make. And every patient has that impact. I remember one particular patient, though, that I can never forget. Uh, she was a young 30-year-old uh, mother. Uh, she had three children at home. Her, she and her husband were uh, raising their children, and she, out of nowhere, received a terrible diagnosis with, uh, of advanced cancer. Um, I began treating her. Uh, we tried uh, various therapies, and some uh, it kind of resulted in this roller coaster ride where initially a treatment was working very well, and it was a lot of hugs and tears and excitement. Uh, only then later, several months, to find out that treatment had become ineffective and now her cancer was growing again and, and now uh, the hugs and tears were there, but they were of a different kind. Right. And this happened over the course of a couple of years until ultimately um, the cancer had become refractory to almost all treatments and we really didn't have other options left. And I remember that um, she ended up in the hospital one day and I went to visit her and I was sitting on the edge of the bed with her and she said you know I, I'm, I, I'm okay with dying I know I'm gonna die from my disease but I just wanted to raise my children and she never complained during her course of care she never asked why me the only thing the only question I ever heard her ask was how come I can't raise my children right. And to me, that's what treating cancer is all about. That's what precision medicine is about. That's what all of these efforts are about. That's what we're doing at ASCO. That's why all of this time and effort that we put into research matters is because we want to help our patients do what they want to do. We want to help young mothers raise their children. We want to allow uh, older couples to spend their, the twilight of their lives together. We want to help um, young professionals continue working. Whatever it is that a patient wants to do, we want to enable that. Great.